Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be making the most important video I've ever made so far. We're going to be taking a look at the most NPC brawlers in the game right now. So there's 10 of them. Most of these are just... I don't know, when someone picks them, I just cringe because most of the time the player playing them is terrible. But don't be offended if this is your broader main. I'm going to give you guys some good reasoning. So, of course, make sure to subscribe for banger uploads later next week. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So, starting off with probably the most NPC brother there is, I can think of, and it's Spike. So, the main reason why I think he's an NPC brother is, you know, mainly on ranked. This video is probably going to be a lot of me just ranting about my ranked randoms, but... So many people just first pick Spike or just pick Spike on every single map, every single scenario, and he's not good in every single scenario. So it really annoys me. And it's the fact that Spike literally takes zero skill. I love playing Spike, one of my favorite brawlers, but you could just spam out shots, especially against other NPCs. You could just hit every single shot with a curveball. It just takes zero skill to play this brawler. It's just so frustrating. And as I said, like people will just play Spike, they'll think they're doing something, but in reality, if not actually doing too much they could just pick a different brawler instead of just picking npc spy the next npc brawler is going to be dynamite so don't even get me started on this brawler for the beginning of time i've never really liked dynamite maybe that's because i'm it's a bit of a skill issue i'm not the best player with dynamite but it's mainly because every single time i'm just trying to play my quests or just play with randoms on ladder there's just a dynamite on my team and then there's just going to be an enemy i don't know triple aggro there's eggs mortises everywhere and then there's just my dynamite that's just jumping around, trying to do double jumps, triple jumps, trying to get a montage. Like, this isn't like 2020 where people were uploading trick shots with dynamite with a mortis. That's just so outdated. I don't get why people do it. Just do it in the training cave. If you want to do 16,000 jumps in a row, do it in the training cave. Don't do it in my ranked games. Don't do it in my ladder games. Just, just stop doing it. Also, for whatever reason, they always shoot me. I, I don't know why. They always put the angry face and shoot me. Even after there's just been a mortis chaining 5 million bats on them. Just please stop being an NPC on Dynamite. So now moving on to the NPC final boss. And of course it is Edgar. So don't get me started on this brawler either. Edgar, if I dare say anything, even remotely bad. The comment section just turns into something else. If I look on Reddit as well. If you dare say anything bad about Edgar. You'll have 500 million people on your case straight away. And it's kind of crazy. Because I actually really enjoyed playing Edgar when he got his hypercharge. He was so broken. But he was so fun to play. So I don't actually hate the brawler too much. I just hate the people that are so deluded in the comic session. You know when you try and say that Edgar is like a balanced brawler. He's like B slash A tier. And these people are just still trying to fight the case. Even when you present so many facts even when you're playing masters power league well ranked and you never see edgar it's just crazy to me how much of npcs these edgar mains can be also if you literally play any ranked below legendary you just get people just pick edgar in every single scenario shoot and start oh yeah let's just go edgar let's just go on time detonator let's just go edgar <laughs> like <laughs> these people just play edgar for the sake of it they're so so brainless I'm sorry, but Edgar means you're just NPCs. I'm moving on to the next NPC brawler, and I'm sorry, it is Crow. So I'm kind of attacking the legendaries a lot here. Some of the most popular brawlers for sure. But I don't know what it is. When I see a Crow on my team, I just cringe. I don't think I've ever seen a good Crow player. I don't know what it is. They just make the most embarrassing plays ever. So don't get me started on the skin selection as well. As soon as I see a Mecha Crow of any kind, I know they're absolutely terrible. Their movement is like they're playing on a 10 hertz device. I'm playing on McDonald's Wi-Fi. So that's probably why they're playing Crow, so they can move faster. They're also always using this shield booster, whatever it's called, gadget. I just know as soon as i see that i'm like no why and then they just i don't know they're playing gem ground they have seven gems they're just jumping into the opponents for no reason and they think they're doing something and then if you dare say anything bad about the hypercharge they'll try and explain how broken it is but in reality all they're doing is practicing in trading cave and getting those youtube shorts algorithm up i i I don't know, something about Crow, I just always cringe. Next brawler on the NPC list is, of course, Tick. So, I don't know a Tick main really out there. Well, a sane Tick main. Like, how can you main this brawler? It's just crazy to me. So, the reason why I've got to put him on the NPC list is because of the people that just go Tick, no matter the scenario. Like, Tick is actually a fun brawler somewhat in bounty and knockout because you can just annoy people. But I'm talking about the people that go, my mania Tick on Hot Zone on ring of fire and just go down the right hand side and just shoot over onto the zone constantly like do they think they're doing anything 
I, I don't think I've seen, again, a good tick. Like, a good tick will keep the pressure, spam shots. It doesn't even have to hit anyone. It just forces the opponents back. These tick players are just so fixated on spamming mines onto one position. They don't care about a Mortis or a Ball or any Hype Charge Brawler close to them. They're just so fixated on spamming those Mind Mania shots. I don't know what it is with Tick. Tick players are, are just terrible. Moving on to the next NPC Brawler, even though he's one of my favorite Brawlers, it is Surge. I'm sorry, but every single time I see a Surge on my team, I cry. I don't think I've hardly ever seen a good Surge player. I don't know what it is, again, with Surge players, it seems like they always have bad Wi-Fi. They always have the Wi-Fi emote, they always have the thumbs down emote, and they're always stuck on level one. It is so painful. So, for me, it's just impossible to put Surge into a higher tier because every single time I, I have a Surge on my team, they're just never getting out of spawn. They're just constantly respawning really slow up the map, spamming those angry emotes and never doing actually anything for the team. It's just crazy to me like good search players can make some really fun plays again he's one of my favorite brawlers but i'm just sick and tired of these five-year-olds playing surge on my team next up on that npc list we have Bo. so Bo is an all-timer on this list if you've been watching my power league streams and rank streams since the beginning of the time i think i've complained about bows on my team more than any other brawler mainly because people just pick Bo. no matter the situation no matter the map no matter what they're playing it into they just pick Bo. like he's a first star brawler don't get me wrong but there's just something about bow players. And again, I don't know what it is with these cursed mecha bow skins, the OG ones. But bow and crow, when I see one of those mecha skins, I don't know what it is. Again, I just cringe. I know that they're a terrible player. Even when that skin first play, like, came out, if someone used that skin, I knew, I just know there's a terrible player. And it's something about bow players as well. It doesn't matter what game mode they're in. If they have a set of minds, they're just, they're so tunnel visioned on placing those mines like they could have 10 gems and gem grab walk up the map into their spawn but they just want to get their mines in the perfect position i see this a lot in brawl as well like they'll no actually in heist they'll literally just beeline to the high safe they could actually just shoot the high safe but instead they just throw the mines and die and lose all position i don't know what it is with both players they just have zero brain cells so next up on the npc list we have brox so again another brawler which people just pick because you know, he's not really the highest skilled sniper, if you get what I mean. You know, he has big rockets, easy to hit. And the problem with Brock that I have mainly when people pick it on my ranked team or just for years is that people just don't understand that he's easy to counter, especially when there's like a couple of high HP brawlers on the team or any form of aggression. And then my teammate picks Brock into that. As soon as you pick Brock into that, it's over because it's so easy to dodge when you're kind of not at maximum range against Brock. So it just frustrates me so much. And that's why I'm calling this brawler an NPC because the people playing Brock don't understand that he's easily countered so it just really frustrates me you can tell how angry i'm getting thinking of this so next up on the npc list we have a jesse so this is more so for the players that just pick up the game to begin with you know it kind of is a skill issue on their end i kind of feel sorry for him but at the same time i don't think i've ever seen a jesse player know how to dodge at all like all they do in heist again it's kind of like both they're just walking a straight line as soon as they get their super the, the only like the only thing on their mind is the high safe so it doesn't matter if there's two people in the middle in the grass they're just going to try and walk through them it's like they think they have an invincibility shield on them they don't just please at least try and shoot the people at least try and dodge at least try to move around the map and don't get me started on the shocky players as well they think they're really doing something with shocky but any player with a brain cell will just delete the turret instantly and then that's it i mean I don't even need to complain too much about Jesse because people know about Jesse for the longest time. And lastly, on the NPC list, we have Fang. So again, I'm sorry to your Fang mains. He is really fun to play. But at the same time, I think it's since the Hype Charge came out. I don't know what it is. He's just been so brain dead to play recently. There's something about this brawler and team wipes that I just hate. I hate the fact that you auto lock onto other brawlers. Again, it's so fun to play. But just, I don't know, it's, it's, it's the people on Twitter or Reddit that try and make out they've made some amazing play but in reality all they've done is just press spam the super button and then because i got a kill with fresh kicks spam it again all they're doing is smashing the auto aim button and it's just auto locking them onto the opponents and then they think oh i'm so good i've just got a team wipe no that's just not the case it's the, the game's just doing it for you it's just so brain dead i'm hoping this mechanic gets fixed in the future i don't know i mean fang before the hype charge was really fun to play and i thought it was a pretty skillful brawler to play and pull off against some hard counters but 
the NPCs are just running wild with Fang since it's hypercharged. So that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Let me know down in the comment section below who you think is an NPC brawler. I've probably missed out a few, but these are just brawlers mainly that when I see a random pick them, I know they're going to be terrible, right? And there's a few brawlers I know they're going to be good, you know, like Rico, for example. But, you know, when the Swan picks a crow, Fang, I know they're terrible. But that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.